here we have the laptop uh, turned upside down. The first thing that I like to do when working on a laptop is, besides disconnecting the power, actually removing the battery. Don't want any power going anywhere inside the machine, uh, just as a precaution. The hard drive on this model is over here on the right. There are two screws that we take out to get access to that. Then we just apply a little bit of pressure and slide it out. And here's our drive. Here we have the hard drive out of the laptop. We've got a simple two and a half inch to three and a half inch hard drive adapter kit. We're not going to use the rails because we won't bother to go ahead and mount it inside the machine. We'll just set it up temporarily. This adapter is designed to connect to the two and a half inch laptop hard drive on the one side and connect to the IDE cable on the other. It has a, a power connector here to supply the, the drive with power. And by looking at the device settings here on the drive, we have installed this very small jumper right here to indicate that the drive is going to be configured as a slave. The C drive in the machine will continue to be the primary IDE drive, and this laptop drive that we're trying to recover the data off of will be a slave. It is important how you connect the adapter. You want to make sure you line up pin 1 with the red stripe on the cable, on the IDE cable. And as you can see on the legend here on the drive, pin 1 is here next to the gap, next to the device cable select jumpers. You can see that on the back here. Then on this adapter also they have marked where pin 1 is and you want to make sure that the pin 1 lines up with the pin 1 on the drive and slide that together. Here we have our laptop drive installed in the machine. The drive is set up with an adapter on the IDE cable. It's configured as the slave. The C drive for the machine will continue to be the primary drive that we'll boot off of. Just hook it up as a second hard drive. Make sure that we check the BIOS settings so that that slave drive is recognized. Sometimes it can be configured to be disabled. We want to make sure the slave is enabled. And then we can pick it up inside Windows XP. Here you can see our Explorer window. The machine boots off its uh, normal disk, Drive C. Local disk E here is that laptop drive that we're trying to recover the data off of. We can go in there, we can copy a, an individual file and uh, paste it wherever you want. You can go in and use Explorer with maybe two windows open, copy a lot of files, copy subdirectories. You can open a, up a command prompt. You can copy the entire contents maybe of Drive E into a subdirectory of Drive C if you have enough uh, room available. So there really are a lot of options for data recovery. It makes it simple. You just connect it up and you can access whatever files you need. If the uh, drive needs any kind of repair, a, a check disk, uh, something uh, a little bit more, uh, this is an easy way to do it. You can uh, fire up the program that, that does the repair, point it to the E drive, and uh, see what it can do for you.